Welcome back to our course on gaining financial freedom with blogging. And so in this particular um, class, I'm going to be showing you how to do SEO keyword research using um, free tools online. Now, normally you can be able to um, do these things using paid tools and as well as, you know, spend lots of money doing it. But um, we're going to be using a free tool today. I will show you a free tool that we'll be using to do this. Now, if you have not um, subscribed to our channel, just quickly go to YouTube, search for Trixpack Digital Technologies, okay, and it will open to this page where you just um, click on the subscribe button and turn on your notifications so that you don't miss any of our posts, okay? So now, let's go back to uh, our tool for keyword research now. The tool we are using is Ahref Free Keyword Generator to to get to this platform, all you need to type in your address is ahrefs.com slash keyword, keyword hyphen generator. Now I'm going to put the link in the description of this video so that um, you can just click on the link there and it will take you straight to the website where you then be able to do what we are going to be showing you here now. So this is how you do it when it comes to doing keyword research. Now, this tool allows you to be able to search for keywords from Google, um, Bing, YouTube, Amazon, okay, to be able to fish out what people are looking for, whether in terms of products, whether in terms of queries, you know, what people are looking for, or the keywords that people are typing in their, in their, in their browsers and looking for answers or looking for things related to it. Okay, so now let's assume that you are in a particular niche, let's say you are in the uh, let's say you are in the uh, scholarship niche or maybe you are in um, finance niche or loan niche or insurance insurance niche okay so you just come over to this platform make sure that this thing is um, selected to google like it's too good, too good to google here because now we are searching for these keywords using google platform as our keyword resource base okay now you come in here and type in the main um, keyword or the, the, your niche just type in insurance assuming you are in the insurance niche if you're in the education niche just put in education there if you're in the job and uh, vacancy niche uh, job vacancy niche just put job vacancy here or job over here now when you do that you come to this side and select the country now if your audience if you're writing primarily for usa audience you can leave this here at uh, United States, selected at United States. But if your audience is not just United States, just scroll to that particular audience that you are writing for. Let me use Nigeria in this case um, as an example. Okay, so here is Nigeria. I'm going to select it now. Then once you are done selecting Nigeria, the next thing is to click on find keywords. Now, when you click on this, the, the capture will pop up, and then you, you know, check the recapture just to pass it. To prove to the platform that you are not a robot because yeah the internet is made up of um it's made up of many robots so that's why some platforms you know put that the capture on, on their site so that they know when humans visit and when robots are visiting them now the moment i put in insurance as a keyword and click on search or find keywords you discover that over here you find phrase and here you see questions take a moment and look at them now the first aspect is just you know where sh um, the section that shows you everything that people are typing on their browsers i mean on google when it comes to insurance the questions show you primarily the questions they are asking about that same keyword which is insurance now if you come over to the phrase aspect you see different keywords then if you come over to the question you also see different questions for instance people are asking what is insurance what is premium in insurance? What is a premium in insurance? What is insurance premium? What is the meaning of insurance? What is the meaning of insurance? What is insurance policy? Now, these are the things people are searching for on Google. Then when you come to the phrase match where you have the biggest collection of keywords, of course, this is also going to be a combination of questions and other things. Now, you see everything people are looking for in terms of insurance in Nigeria right now. Now, people are typing insurance as a keyword on their browsers and up to and this thing is being searched in nigeria up to 7300 times in a day okay so now um when you come over to the right hand side you notice that there are 
figures or, or there are sessions here showing figures and showing different different things at the top for instance here you have kd and several figures below it then you have volume here and several figures below it then you have the updated session up here now the kd here represents keyword difficulty the keyword difficulty is um, a calculation of how difficult it will take you to rank on search engines when you are writing um, keywords related to the ones displayed here for instance if you are going to write on insurance just insurance as a keyword um, it's going to take up to, uh, up to you know, um, it's going to take you lots of things to be able to rank for this keyword the reason is because the, the keyword difficulty is 75 percent it means um, if you are going to write on this keyword if you are not an established blog if your blog is not one of those top blogs or um, top uh, power blogs in Nigeria right now, you may not really rank for this particular keyword, this one word keyword. So the best thing to do is to go for long tail keyword. Long tail keywords are keywords that are longer, not just the short ones, they are longer in, uh, in, in the sense that they have one, two, three, four words in them. For instance, this insurance companies in Nigeria, you can see is four words in one, that's a long tail keyword. So this one word keyword here is like a short tail keyword and this one you may not really be able to rank for this if you're a new blogger or if your blog is a new blog. So you need to go for long tail keywords and also when you go for long tail keywords also check their keyword difficulty. If their keyword difficulty is above 30, discard it, don't go for it. Okay, or rephrase it. Now, if their keyword difficulty is below 30, that's the keyword you should go for as a new blog or as um, uh, a new blogger. Okay, so go for keywords that are less than 30% in terms of difficulty. Keywords that are less than 30% in terms of difficulty. Now, this will give you the opportunity to rank your blog on um, search engines results pages faster okay people who go for these keywords that are above 30 percent are those who already have their blogs established maybe their blogs are up to two three four five six seven eight nine ten years they have gathered backlinks they have gathered um lots of traffic and the rest of them okay so go for keywords that are less than 30 percent for instance this keyword here ico insurance this keyword on ico insurance is it I could, yeah, insurance is a very good keyword. Why? Because presently the keyword, the difficulty is just 5%. And that 5% here means that anybody can write on it and rank higher. Another one is insurance companies in Nigeria. The keyword difficulty right now in Nigeria is 2%. 2%. This 2% means that it is easier for a new blog to rank for it. It's easier. For a new blog to rank for it if you abide by other seo rules when writing your content then when you come to this side you discover that there is something called volume here this volume represents the search volume the number of times this keyword has been searched over the last one month over the last three weeks over the last um one week over the last 24 hours okay the the, the volume here represents the amount of time people are searching for these things Day, on a daily basis or on a weekly basis or on a monthly basis on Google and you need to go for keywords that have a high search volume for instance I always advise new bloggers to go for keywords that have from 500 to um, from 500 above I mean from 500 um, search volume up so if the keywords are being searched up to 500 times in a day or 500 times in a space of one week i think is a very good keyword for you to write on and then if the keyword is up is searched for up to let's say 1000 times 2000 times 3000 times 10,000 times it's still a very good keyword for you to write on so you always combine the keyword difficulty here and also the search volume if the keyword difficulty is less than 30 and the search volume is above 500 you can write on it and your blog will rank for that keyword.